This is No Tears for Black Girls. A DeKalb County family still reeling after someone shot and killed a young mother in the family driveway. It happened on Kelly Chapel Road. Raisha Hurd's family tells Fox 5 her eight-year-old son watched it happen. Raisha Hurd, a beloved pregnant mother of two, met a tragic end on October 11th in a devastating event that shook DeKalb County. Police identified Mad Music Kali, the father of her children, Justin Renee Lewis, as the alleged perpetrator who shot her while she was unloading groceries from her car on Kelly Chapel Road. Since then, the police have arrested and charged Lewis with murder. On Wednesday, October 11, 2023, Raisha Hurd's life was irreparably changed in a single devastating moment. As she and her eight-year-old son continued about their day-to-day -day activities, an armed assailant crept up and began shooting. They killed Raisha in the attack and her son looked on in horror. Shockwaves of sorrow spread throughout their small community, as Kenya Cuffey, one of Raisha's closest friends, said, Words can't explain how bad it hurts. It turns out that this tragedy was not the first to strike the Heard family. Gun violence had murdered Raisha's eldest son, Romello, last year. In the wake of this devastation, those close to the family have set up a GoFundMe page in memory of Raisha to help cover funeral costs and provide mental health support for her two young boys. This story underscores the need for urgent action to tackle gun violence and for supporting families traumatized by it. Several of the family members were at the house when the deadly shooting occurred. DeKalb police say they have identified the suspect, but they are not yet ready to release his name. He's doing a lot on his Instagram. He's texting this. He's texting me from this. Yeah, he wants to go viral from this. So... Yes, we know who it is. Meanwhile, Raisha's besties, who have known her since ninth grade, say they will miss so much about her. Her smile. She always had a, a smile, a big smile. She she touched a lot of people's lives. She had a, a lot of friends, and she was just so loving and caring. She's a loving and caring person. She's the life of the party. We don't have a positive, positive, never negative. I'd say the past six weeks or so, she made a concerted effort to pull away, uh, put her foot down, attempted to get a, a temporary uh, protection order. Um, she was trying. Your heart just breaks hearing that. Family members say they've now focused on saying their goodbyes to Raisha now that a suspect is in custody. It's been very, very much a relief for our family. Uh, to know that he's been captured and we don't have to be in fear of him or any antics.